Welcome back to our awesome video where we're diving into something super important. Registering a child as a British citizen, whether they were born right here in the UK or somewhere beyond our shores. But before we jump in, don't forget to hit us up on Facebook and Instagram. Just click the link down below in the description box. Let's get started. And while you're at it, why not share this video with your pals and family? who might be interested in this valuable info. Spread the knowledge and let's make sure everyone's in the loop. Here's the lowdown. Kids under 18 who don't automatically become British citizens when they're born have a chance to snag that citizenship through two ways. Entitlement or discretion under Section 3 of the British Nationality Act 1981. Now, let me break it down for you. Entitlement means they have a right to it based on certain conditions. Discretion, on the other hand, gives the Secretary of State for the Home Department the power to decide on a case-by-case -case basis, taking into account each child's unique situation. Let me clarify who can hop on the British citizenship train. While children can't go through the naturalization process like adults do, they still have a shot at becoming British citizens by being registered. This can happen through entitlement or discretion, depending on their circumstances. All right, let's talk about what a child needs to tick off to become a British citizen through registration. First up, one of the child's parents needs to be British by descent at the time of the child's birth in the UK. Likewise, whether the child is born right here in the UK or in another country, their parents, be it mum or dad, must be British by any means to apply for their registration as a British citizen. If a child born outside the UK has a parent who is British by descent but was also born outside the UK, then both the child and the parent must have lived in the UK for three consecutive years without being away for 270 days or more in total. Now, let's focus on registering a child born in the UK for British citizenship. When it comes to this process, it's crucial to get it done before the child celebrates their 18th birthday. Timing is key here. According to Section 1-4 of the British Nationality Act 1981, a child born in the UK who has lived there until the age of 10 has the option to apply for registration as a British citizen, either before or after reaching the age of 10. So, whether it's before or after hitting that milestone, they've still got a chance to make it happen. In addition to having a good character, it's important to note that the child must not have been outside the UK for more than 90 days in any given year within the 10-year period while residing in the UK since birth. Keeping those travels within the time frame is crucial for meeting the requirements. On the flip side, children who don't meet the criteria we've discussed can still apply for registration through discretion. When considering discretion for granting citizenship to a child, the Home Office takes into account several factors. Here's some of the checklist the Home Office considers. Parents' consent. Are the parents on board with the child's citizenship application? Child's future intentions. What are the child's plans for the future? Do they intend to stay in the UK? Child's character. Does the child have a good character? This includes factors like behavior, conduct, and any criminal record. Total time in the UK. How long has the child lived in the UK? This helps assess their connection to the country. Child's interests. What are the child's interests and aspirations? How do they align with UK citizenship? Parents, citizenship and immigration status. What's the citizenship and immigration status of the child's parents? This can influence the decision. By considering these factors, the Home Office makes informed decisions about granting citizenship through discretion. Lastly, let's dive into registering an adopted child for British citizenship. 
if a child is adopted by a British citizen in the UK under the Hague Convention, they automatically become a British citizen. This streamlined process ensures that the child gains citizenship alongside their adoption, providing them with all the rights and privileges that come with being British. Absolutely. The reason behind this automatic citizenship for adopted children under the Hague Convention is because the British Nationality Act 1981 doesn't acknowledge adoptions conducted under other conventions or laws. And that's a wrap for today's video update, folks. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, take care.